Hi, my name is Evan Roberts from Roberts Pianos Houston near Hobby Airport and this video is about the tone of pianos. This piano has a bright tone and um a bright tone is it's a preference or a mellow tone is a preference. I would say there's some pianos that they're just too harsh. It's like the tone is too hard and I would say it's unpleasant, but that's a personal thing as well. There are people that like hon honky tonk, Scott Joplin and stuff, and they like a bright tone. A mellow tone. The mellow tone is sort of smoother. It's uh, you could. Some people say it's more relaxing for them, and uh, some people just like a mellow sound because you spend time at the piano and you you, you feel comfortable. And uh, some people don't like it because they think it's too too dead, you know, too drab. So the hammer has a lot to do with the sound. So the the the, the um, softness of the hammer. Uh, the, if it's harder, it's going to give you a harder tone. It's pretty simple and straightforward if you think about it. If you play drums with a drumsticks, it's going to sound percussive. If you play drums with mallets, it's going to sound like orchestral kind of rolling stuff. The other factor that might have something to do with richness of tone is the, whether the cabinet's made of wood or whether it's made of polyester. Some of the sound does travel through the cabinet. So this is a wooden cabinet. So, uh, I mean, I personally like a rich tone, but I like clarity, I like something in the middle, and I like this a lot. This is a lovely piano, it's very enjoyable to play, it's very relaxing for me. Some people love a rich, a smooth tone so much that they listen to this kind of music all day, which is... Which is really smooth and soft, and it's by using this pearl here, which is called a Celeste Rail, the hammer hits this is, this is the bright piano I showed you a minute ago, but because there's a rail in front of the hammers, they hit the rail and the felt, then they hit the string, so that causing the tone to be softer and smoother, and some people like this kind of piano music for relaxation. Some people want to play like more modern music, more stride and jazz and things like that, and they want to have an instrument and pop and rock. They want to have an instrument that doesn't just uh, get lost in the mix where it comes out, if, especially a solo piano or, or a piano song, singer. So it depends what you like and there's all these kind of shades. If you look at the bright pianos being these really old pianos, super hard hammers where it's like, you can call it tinny. Uh, and then all the way at the bottom you have hammers that are just so soft that nothing sounds um, percussive, nothing sounds like very offensive. And then there's usually most people somewhere in the middle, that range. And so you just got to find a piano that suits your own sound. And I would say, instead of thinking about brightness and, and mellowness too much, I think more about richness. Whereas that Yamaha over there had a rich tone, you could find the mellow piano without much of rich tones. So just because the hammers are soft with the cabinet and the bridge, everything is not that well put together. So you want to make sure you get the best of both worlds and find something that you like personally and listen to multiple pianos and just get an idea of the overall sound, the impression it gives you. You're going to listen to it for hours. Likely, it's likely you'll never change piano in your whole life. Most people don't and even a couple of generations. So uh, find a piano that you really fall in love with the sound. Thanks for watching. My name is Evan Roberts. I'm Roberts Pianist Houston. And uh, we'll see you here soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.